I have literally one pair of socks. So you're like, what, you wear socks with sandals? I totally do. Hey guys, how are you? This is Connor. You're watching thrivingminimalist.com. Thank you so much for tuning in. I've got a backpack video for you guys today. I'm going to be showing off my kind of my day bag and also my trip bag. Uh, right now, Brittany and I, my traveling companion, are up in Rhode Island. We traveled up a couple of weeks ago from Austin, Texas. So we're in our Winnebago and we've got a ton of stuff. Well, not a ton of stuff. We've got a decent amount of things in here to make our life comfortable knives, cutting boards, bowls, some acro pads for our acrobatics. We've even got a fan in here and some handstand canes. So although we're not going crazy on what we have within the Winnebago, we do have obviously extra storage room. But uh, our daily packs are things that we bring with us pretty much every day. And in my case, this is something that I would take with us when we leave the Winnebago and go on a uh, singular trip like we did recently to New York City. And we left the Winnebago in Rhode Island, went up to New York City for a few days. This is the pack that I would bring with me. This is pretty much my main essentials. And as you can see, this is just a small backpack. I mean, this is like somebody's school book bag. This particular bag is made by Eddie Bauer. It's called a Rip Pack. This was actually Brittany's old backpack before she got her duder. And uh, and I think it's an amazing bag. I mean, it is kind of falling apart. The, uh, the netting on the sides that hold the water bottles are kind of ripping. Um, let me see. I think there's a couple of holes getting started at the base. But in general, I really like this bag. I think the only thing that I'm having a little bit of trouble with is the straps are slightly uncomfortable. I have a, a thicker upper body than a female and, and certainly than of Brittany. And so um, for her, this was quite comfortable. For me, it's a little too, like, it digs into my skin a little too much. So, um, and I also like to have a shirt off as much as possible, especially in the sun. So I tend to wear this backpack with no shirt, so, so nothing uh, protecting me from the straps and my skin. It's still a great backpack. I, it, it's not so, it's not painful. It's just not as comfortable as I think I've experienced with other bags. Like like a Jansport has a little bit more cushion. So that's, that's really my only complaint about this bag. Otherwise, I really, really like it. Um, there's only three zipper pockets in this whole bag. There's the front, there's this small one in the top, and then there's the main one. So what I want to do is run through everything that's in my bag, run through everything that's that I'm wearing and that's in my pockets, and let you guys know exactly what I uh, require to have small trips out in the world. And honestly, it, this is the stuff. This is the main stuff that I want in my everyday life. Like. The extra stuff in the Winnebago, it's nice and it's great to have while traveling in the Winnebago, but I don't need it. This is the stuff that I, I require and that I want with me everywhere I go. So let's get started first with the clothing and the articles that I have on my person. This used to be my only t-shirt. Um, I do have a, I, I own a couple long sleeve t-shirts, but this is my only t-shirt for a long, long time. It's starting to literally disintegrate on my body, so I'm hitting these really big holes. So I've got one more uh, tank top in my bag that I'll show you guys. But this is generally my outfit. I wear these and my one pair of shorts. I have a pair of swimming trunks that I also sometimes use for acrobatics, especially for L basing, which is when you lay down on the ground, your back is on the ground. In a pair of jeans like this to work out, uh, you have belt buckle, belt loops and stuff, to lay on those is a little uncomfortable. So that's why I have another pair of shorts. But in general, I find jean shorts are durable. Um, they're not long pants, which I find to be pretty irritating, especially when it gets warm. Uh, and they have really good pockets. So I really like having the jean shorts. The only pair of shoes, you guys, I'm telling you, the only pair of shoes I have are Zero shoes. These are sandals made by Zero, uh, X-E-R-O, shoes.com, Zero shoes.com. These were 50 bucks. They have a 5,000 mile warranty. Um, I've worn them for over a year and a half and they only recently just broke. And that is where the... Um, where the tethering line goes through the shoe itself. And I actually was able to super glue these back together and I'm getting more use out of them. 
So these are amazing shoes. I, I highly, highly recommend these shoes and this company. Really great, uh, very easy to correspond with. They make a very cheap sandal that you can make yourself. Uh, they just send you the, the base. I think they send you like a basic outline for your shoe and they send you the string. I have a couple of friends who have made them that way and those are great as well. They also have a couple other versions of shoes. Um, I'm getting a new pair in about a week and I'll make an, a, a separate video on that. The other thing I always carry on my person is my HTC One in a very durable case. My HTC One is awesome. I know that iPhones kick ass, they're really cool phones, but honestly the camera on here is better than the iPhone 4. I, I think it's better than the iPhone 5, although the iPhone 5 can do cooler stuff with the camera. The camera quality on here is, is better. The only thing that sucks about this phone's camera is at nighttime, it's, it just doesn't work well at night uh, or even in dark um, uh, settings. So that's the one downside about the HTC One. It also picks up bugs every once in a while and needs to have a, a hard reboot. But in general, I really love this phone. It's awesome and it's always in my pocket. That's basically it. That's what's on my person. So now let's go through the bag. Again, this is an Eddie Bauer rip pack. Uh, first thing hanging off of the side is an ancient Nalgene bottle I've had for a million years. This Nalgene bottle, generally it has the little loop on here so when you take the cap off, you don't lose it. This is the first thing to go. Um, it's, it's a, you know, you know what a Nalgene bottle is. It's cool. I put tea in here, put water in here, I put smoothies in here. It's nice to have around. I was told uh, a while back that the, the company that produces these um, also produces test uh, devices for laboratory animals. So there's an issue possibly with efficacy if you're um, concerned about the welfare of animals and by Nalgene, that's something that you can do research on. I'm just putting it out there because it might be interesting uh, to you. But if you have a Nalgene bottle, certainly don't throw it away. You know, use the products you have and, um, and this is a great product for, for what it is. Okay, so let's get into the small front pouch here. I've got a pair of headphones. Uh, the only thing that I would do differently with these headphones, or will do differently, is get one with the speaker attachment. Uh, but I, I love having a pair of headphones to listen to music. I've got my USB charger, which I just picked up at the store, which is why it has an extra Apple uh, device charger. But this is for my HTC One, it's a USB. And then I have this little USB to um, electric socket just in case I don't have USB capability. So that's for my chargers. I've got a couple of pens, two pens. One is a high quality pen for drawing, which I, I, I like to do. And one is just a regular clickable writing pen. I have eye drops. I don't really use any products like this. Um, but sometimes eye drops, I, I just ha my eyes tend to get stressed out when I don't sleep enough and I, I'm often very excited about life and so I don't sleep as much as maybe I, I could and uh, my, my eyes get red and really start to irritate me so I do use these eye drops. This knife is a, a Gerber suspension knife, amazing multi-tool. Check this out. This is why this knife is so freaking cool. Most multi-tools you have to open up to access the knife. This one, everything is on the exterior of the blade. Everything locks with a double lock and closes. And then inside, you've got your, your pliers, your cutters. Uh, this has a, a small saw, a blade, uh, another saw, some scissors, and a bunch of screwdrivers and things like that. So this is a this is just I love having a multi-tool and honestly if you're gonna get stuff like this, pay the money to get the high quality. Because the crappy ones are gonna break. They're gonna fall apart. You're gonna be pissed off that you don't have it when you need it. This is a $40 knife, but it's something you're gonna have literally for the rest of your life. So highly recommend this. So that's it in the front pocket. I'm just gonna put this stuff all back in. And we'll get into the second small pocket in the very top. So this is where I keep my uh, toiletry kit kind of stuff. 
dental floss. I've got a little bit of um, Bronner's soap. I've got some tooth powder. And I've got this awesome toothbrush which sticks anywhere you want, which I really like. It's a small toothbrush. Um, it's a soft bristle. I recommend all those things for your mouth. What else do I have in here? Okay, I've got, this is just an extra like toothpick thing. Um, I, I prefer the, the regular uh, roll of dental floss, but some people really like these, so I just have an extra one laying around. This is my carrying wallet. I've got my uh, identification in here. I've got my money in here. It's a two zipper wallet with an extra pocket. Who makes this? A brand called Chums. I think it's like a $5 wallet you can find on, uh, on Amazon. If you look inside, there's a couple of different pouches in the front with a clear area there. And then you got your closed in area here where I keep a little bit of change, some cash and my credit cards. I also carry my passport around with me. You don't have to carry your passport around. I do it because you never know when you want to go to another country. And maybe you're just out there in the world and you just want to go. And I have the ability to do that. Let me see. Okay, so that's, that's everything in my pouch. In the second small zipper of the Rip Pack Eddie Bauer bag. Now we're going to get into the big pouch. So I'm going to pull out my massively ridiculous computer first. This is a MacBook Pro 15 inch. If I had to do it again, you guys, I would get the 13 inch Air. So the MacBook Pro is great. It's heavier than the Air. Uh, it's a little bit cheaper than the Air, but it's, it's, it's heavier. And the 15 inch is just, it's just too big. Like I don't need it. It's just a little bit too big. And um, after Brittany, my traveling partner, uh, got her 13 inch MacBook Air, I just knew that's that's the next computer for me. I will say I've had this MacBook Pro for like almost four years now and I've never had a single issue with it in terms of viruses or uh, and, and, you know just anything like that. It has a ton of space. It's a great computer to have and uh, I bring it around a lot. It flops, it moves, I've dropped it and it's still in great fantastic shape. Okay, so I've got an Eagle Creek packing cube. If you've never used a packing cube in your life, my friends, let me tell you, it's gonna change your world. So in my packing cube, I have all of my essential clothes. Let's jump in here and see what I've got. I've got long underwear. This is a long sleeve thermal uh, a piece of clothing that is called a waffle style keeps you warm and uh, it looks pretty cool I think the ladies like it so do the boys and another piece of really nice thermal underwear let me see if I got the company here I believe that this is a Patagonia uh, thermal long johns and they're awesome I generally you know if it's a cold morning or something I'll put these on underneath my jean shorts and it's just, it makes all the difference. So this is my second um, t-shirt I was talking to you about. I got this one, it's in great shape. I'll, I'm sure I'll wear it down pretty fast too because it'll be like my primary article of upper clothing. And then finally, my swim trunks. So that's in one side of the packing cube. The cool thing about this packing cube is it's double-sided. So it's got two zippers, one on each side, so you can keep a little bit of separation on what you're doing. On the other side, I have literally one pair of socks. So you're like, what, you wear socks with sandals? I totally do. And it's warm and, it's, and it looks kind of hilarious, but it's also kind of fun. And um, this, is, this is all I need. It's a high quality pair of socks and my sandals. When it gets cold, that's it. I mean, obviously you would need more if it's snowing outside, but I found that this is great for probably up to like 50 degree weather. I've had one pair of socks, the long johns, and I'll show you the other piece of clothing that I have. And, uh, and been totally warm with that. I've also got a bandana, which I found has just come in handy for a lot of different things. Okay, so that's all the clothes in my packing cube. The next thing is high quality rain jacket by North Face. Not only does it uh, work very well, but it also is cool. I mean, it, it just looks good. And it's really worth spending money on stuff that feels good, that works right, that's lightweight. 
you know, spend the money one time. I've had this jacket for like 10 years and it's in great shape. I plan on having it for another 85 years because I'm not going to die until I'm at least over 100. Okay, so here's the thing. Gigantic, massive, ridiculous amount of cord for this computer. Uh, one recommendation I have is these teeny little Velcro things. These are really cool. Keeps your cord nice and wrapped up. Now, if you feel like you don't need such a long cord, you may not realize this, but this piece comes off. And you have with you uh, the other piece. Let me see what, which side it's for. Yeah, when you got your computer, you got another piece that slides in here and plugs right into the wall. For me, I found in a coffee shop or whatever where the, you just need that much more room. It's such a pain in the butt when you don't have the extension. So I carry the extension with me and uh, for me it, that really works well. But if you don't like the extension, you have the ability on your Mac to uh, unplug that extension and put on just the, the small plug. Okay. I got my Braun shaver. I made an entire video dedicated to this shaver because I love it so much. It's a, it's a beard trimmer, in fact, but I use it to shave. Um, I've got everything in here I need. I got my power supply, I got my extension, I got my lubricant, and I have my small cut-off toothbrush that I use to clean it because I lost the original bristles to clean it. So this all packs away nice and neat. I probably use this like once a week, once every two weeks. But you know, when you do want to kind of just clean up, like this is me clean, you know, it's not super like whatever, but it's, it's, it looks a little more manageable than it did an hour ago. What else we got in here? Okay. I just got, I just got one more piece and that is my, my journal. It's a pretty hilarious, uh, corny journal title never lose sight of your dreams. But I mean, I like it. It's kind of nice and the colors are cool. So this was like a $3 thing from Target. I keep that in there. I draw in here. I write in here. Reflection, how I'm feeling. If I'm going through something tough, I write about it. Really nice to have. If you've never journaled before, just do it. Do it and see how it feels for you. Okay. So that's everything in my bag. You guys, thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, post down below. If you want to see any videos, post down below. If you want to uh, reach out to me, you can do that via Facebook. You can do that via YouTube on a personal message. I am so open to sharing my life and I want to make sure that these videos are exciting for you, um, motivating for you, inspirational for you. So let me know how I'm doing. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. Also, visit thrivingminimalist.com for more videos, information on minimalism, recipe book, coaching. If you're looking to change your life, I can help you with that. Much love to you. Take care of yourselves. I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.